Hi everyone, this is Julia. I'm going to show you how we did our uh, image to cell analysis. So you're going to take one of your images. You're going to go ahead and put it into image Joe. You're going to click OK. Then you're going to have this image here that we received. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to split this image channels. So image, color, split channels. And so it's going to be split into the dead cells on the right here and the live cells on the left. The live cells, um, there's a lot of clusters. These were stained uh, using calcium. Um, calcium, uh, specifically the reaction with calcium AM or acetoxymethyl ester. And it's in that form, it's nonpolar, non fluorescent, um, and it enters a live cell membrane, and there it's going to be hydrolyzed by uh, esterases um, into calcium, which is this green fluorescence. Um, and then in propidium iodide, um, that's a common staining to stain dead cells. Um, specifically DNA, it's going to be entering damaged cell membranes or dead cell membranes. Um, and it's going to release a red color. And so here we're gonna do, um, we're gonna start with the dead cells. So we're gonna start by, we said the red color, so we're gonna make it red. Then we're gonna change it RGB color then to eight bit. Then we're gonna process that image, or sorry, we're gonna go to adjust and uh, add a threshold. And um, we specifically use the Bernstein threshold 15 radius white object on black background. So that comes here. And then we're gonna go ahead and process going binary, make binary, then convert to mass, then watershed, which is gonna help break up some of those clusters, um, especially in the live cell picture. But here we also did it for consistency. And then we're gonna analyze, so we're gonna analyze the particles um, you can put whatever you'd like. We were deciding between two and 10. I'll put two here. Show outlines, display results, summarize, exclude on edges, um, or just some of the inclusion exclusion criteria we used. Click OK. So first you have um, just a summary total 175 count. And then you have um, the two images side by side. And lastly, they have it, um, each of the 175 individual cells by themselves. And I'll show you real quickly how to do this now with the live cells. So um, again, putting the image into image J. Okay. We're going to go ahead and split the channels. And this time I'll show you um, with the live cell image. That one was in green. I'm going to go to type RGB color, loop it. And then we're going to do the auto local threshold on these. Ernstine, OK. And it, but we still have some clusters. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to binary, make binary, binary, convert to mask, and specifically the binary watershed. And that's gonna help uh, break up some of those clusters that we had. And then you can go to analyze. Um, for the live cells, we use 50, 200 microns squared. And then you click OK. And for that one, we had 204. Um, these are the individual 204 cells. And then these are the images side by side. So thank you.